Hello and welcome along to another video. Today I am joined by a good pal Tudia and we are in a beautiful area of the Scottish Highlands named Glen Clover. And on our agenda today are two Munros, Maya and Dresh. Now it's been four, oh, about nine or ten years since I was last in this particular area on these particular Munros. And the first time I was up there, I got hailed on quite badly. And I don't remember seeing a thing from the summits. So hopefully, hopefully today <laughs> will be a better weather day. We are due a little bit of wind. Well, I think we'll do quite a lot of wind according to the forecasts, but hopefully that won't detract from a good day out in the hills. So I, thanks so much for coming along and I hope you enjoy. It really is spectacular. This is all the way to Glenco, Torridon, but actually we got this fly got up my doorstep. Yeah, it's amazing. Aye, it's Bonnie! It's Bonnie right enough. So you might have noticed something slightly different in today's video and I'm trying this uh, new Rode Wireless Me microphone and uh, well, it's quite windy where I am so I'm not 100% sure how this is going to sound. I do have the little wind muffler on the mic to try and help with that. Um, I'm just trying it out, I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be good, if it's going to you know, revolutionise the videos in any way. But I'm just having a bit of fun, having a bit of an experiment to see what I can do and what is achievable. Um, so you might have noticed uh, some, I don't know, some weird sound issues. You might have noticed even some dropout. I'm not 100% sure. Actually, I've not reviewed any of the footage. So uh, when Edit Callum is like looking back at all this, I'm sure it's going to be quite entertaining to see what exactly I've come up with. But Cory Fee is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's just, you know, an outstanding place. It's just one of these wonderful natural areas that, you know, it's just, it's breathtaking. You know, it's stunning, it's beautiful. There's only so many superlative words that I can use to describe it, you know, without sounding the same. But it is, it's a magnificent place. And um, yeah, despite the wind, you know, this is going to be a great day. I can feel it. So yeah, let's crack on. I probably will get the poles out soon because it's getting pretty steep. I hope my crash doesn't get in your way. Crash, crash. <laughs> oh, feel it in your eyes here. I guess the only problem <laughs> with this microphone is you'll definitely hear my puffing and panting more. 
which I'm sure everyone is excited about. Well, this will be a pretty good test of the microphone in this wind. <laughs> it's blowing a hilly. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. So we've just crested the top of the quarry. Oh, and that wind is strong. I mean, I always knew it was going to be strong today. The forecast said so. But wow, it just hit you. So yeah, it's maybe a good test to see how well this is getting picked up and how well everything else is going to get picked up. But yeah, as you can see behind me, we've got a little amble up out of the quarry and over to the summit of Maya. summit of Maya. Oh my goodness. I have no idea if the wind is going to get picked up or not but it is proper blowy. Do you even stand up? Just about. Just about good. What's that saying? Like, you going to say? Blowing a hooli. It's blowing a hooli. That is blowing a hooli. But aye, that was a, a beautiful walk up here. What a good path. I don't remember that path being as good as that. They must have done pathworks in the past 10 years, which is, I guess isn't too surprising. But we're not going to hang about here for too long, because this wind is cold. Oh, I can feel it like it's biting. So, we'll probably... I mean, we can't leave until you've done your summit dance. <laughs> Try not to fall over. I'll get blown over more to the point. But yeah, I don't think we're going to hang about. We're going to head that way yeah. to Dresh. It's that way, it has the shelter. Apparently, because it's not this one. <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> I guess it won't be as big as much more. Aww, look at that. Isn't this pretty? I love this, I love the shape. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, this is nice. Very pleasant indeed. Just at the Bialuk before the pull up to Dresh. Ah, oh, what a lovely walk. It's not difficult at all, these two Munros. But this wind, <laughs> it's energy zapping because the wind just, it's battering us. And it's cold in the wind. And there's no wind, it's actually quite mild. But in the wind, oh gosh, the wind chill must be easily in the minus. Oh, but yeah, so we're just heading up this slope behind me. And before too long, we should be at the summit of Dresh. Let's go. I'm enjoying this wee dandy. Oh, well then. Oh, what a lovely big summit shelter. Oh, yes. 
Well done, pal. Does it? Yeah. Alright then. Oh, okay, let's get a new seat. Are you uh, sponsored by Thermos? No. Yeah, I wouldn't mind being sponsored by Thermos. Oh. Yeah, they're good gear. Welcome to the summit of Dresh. It's a really good uh, summit shelter up here, and actually, because of the height of it, we can sit in here and we're completely sheltered from the wind, which is lovely. Because that wind, as I've said a couple of times today, is absolutely freezing. Hard work as well. Yeah, it's hard work <laughs> working in the wind. But um, we both have uh, noodles today. Coincidentally, what uh, variety of noodles did you bring? Chicken. Chicken noodles? What, what kind? Super noodles? Pot noodle? Super noodles. Chicken super noodles? Oh, you minx. And my lovely Chris cooked it up this morning for me. Oh, what a good boy. Oh, bless. Well, I've got, a, I've got a matching thermos. Snap! <laughs> but mine's a pot noodle. The, the very, um, I was about to say the unclassy version of noodles, but actually, I think they're delicious. Like, I'm not a, a noodle snob. I love a pot noodle. <sighs> anyway, let's get stuck in. Now, it doesn't look up to much, but I can confirm it is delicious. Mmm. Mm -mm. Just what you need, something hot on a cold day. Son. Yeah. So, I think we're just going to enjoy these. Ah, and have a cup of tea. Oh yes, time for a cup of Irish rum and cream tea. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Well, you can smell it. Mm. The Irish rum. I mean, there's no Irish rum in it. No. Although that would be amazing if but there was. Can smell kind of Mm. Rummy smell. Yeah, it's sweet. Mm. And there is like a creamy sort of texture to it. But it's a black tea, but it's good. Highly okay, recommend. I'll my coffee machine. And then, yeah, I've probably had like eight cups of tea a day. Eight cups of tea a day? <laughs> That's that on a quiet day. And what's that on a busy day? Twelve. A dozen cups of tea a I day. Think I, I think I drink out of boredom sometimes. Oh that's yeah, that's why, the thing. See, that's why I don't, that's why now I've got a litre bottle to make myself drink water, more water. <laughs> oh, <you're rich>. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm enjoying it. I'll just keep talking a little. a patter. Oh, so we have fasted around the summit of Dresch for long enough and we are now hitting the trail and we're going to go and catch the Kilbo path and that is going to take us back to where we started. But yeah, there is some ominous looking clouds rolling in now so I think we're going to try and be as uh, efficient with our exit off this hill as we possibly can. But Oh, it's still been a good day. So we've just came to the end of the Kilbo Path, we're about to descend through the forest behind us and then that will pick us up to the path that we were on at the start of the day. Oh, so with that I just want to say thank you so much for watching today's adventure. Um, thank you for persevering with me and my new microphone and uh, 
I think I've spoken more today than I would normally speak in a video just because I've wanted to to try it and to, to see how it sounds so um, yeah thank you so much um, for your patience I feel like you're on this learning journey with me which has been amazing and hopefully hopefully you've enjoyed it and uh, hopefully this is a new dimension to my videos that will make them even better and I think Cheria is just the wee falling over that's two videos in a row that you've been in a mind that you've wanted to gate crash me talking to the camera <laughs> Oh, but yeah, we've had a great day. It's always, it's always great fun with Chiria. There's never a dull moment. Um, and we always, you know, we've got, oh, it's been, just been lovely catching up and we always have loads of banter and good chats. So yeah, it's been a good day. Um, the rain's coming on now, so it's probably just the perfect opportunity to say cheerio and I will see you on another adventure soon. Ah, oh, what a good day. Even, you're welcome, even in spite of the wind, it's been brilliant. Gosh, I have left my phone quite away. I wonder if that even picked up. Well, that's another test for the microphone.